Hi everybody, it's me, Green Beauty ASMR, and I am wanting to sit with you. I am wanting to connect with you. I have my Blue Yeti mic this time and I'm kind of practicing with it as well with regard to um, the volume and the distance between myself and the microphone and how it's going to work. I'm still experimenting with it. I hope that the breathing sounds aren't overpowering. Um, because when you have such a strong microphone, it obviously picks up those things, unless you have the proper equipment to prevent that. So, I really just felt a calling to sit with you here in this moment and to connect with you from far away. I want you to know that I'm thinking of you, and I hope that you're doing well. I brought a couple of things to show you, just to have something for us to do together here in this video. Sometimes I wish we could be together uh, in the same room, but when we can't, at least we have these videos. So this that I'm holding here is called Palo Santo Room and Linen Spray. It's by a company called River Birch and I purchased this from a local store. It says fresh, natural, and hand poured. Let's go ahead and give a little bit of a spritz and see what you think. It smells like a fresher version of what Palo Santo sounds like or smells like and for those of you who don't know obviously it's a, a wood it's a certain type of wood that you burn so it's a very earthy smoky scent this is um, a little bit more perfumey but still very earthy and I do use it mostly as a room spray, not so much linen. The scent does not last all day. Certainly it does not, but it's wonderful for the moment, for what it is, before bedtime, whatever it is that you'd like. And then the other stuff I wanted to show you, some of you might have purchased these before. Hold on. Um are these Trader Joe's Lotion Trio. So for $7.99 at Trader Joe's, it must have been sometime in December, um, these were available for purchase. And we have the scent Lavender Santal and Pineapple Bergamot and White Gardenia one of my favorite scents. If you've been here for a long time, you might remember how I really liked lid sounds, but to be honest, they don't quite do it for me anymore. So I've used quite a bit of this. It smells wonderful, very fresh, very gardenia. Though, <clears throat> as you would expect with something in the $8 range, the scent does not stay forever. I usually use this in the evening before putting on pajamas just to feel cozy and pretty and, I don't know, feminine in the night. Getting ready for bed, it just helps me sleep good, feeling fresh and... Uh, slimed up, I guess, with the lotion, hydrated. 
It smells wonderful. Um, I would recommend it definitely. Um, it just doesn't last forever. The next scent, would, which I was very unsure about, is the um, pineapple bergamot. I thought to myself, how would those two scents go together? Let's find out. So as you can see, I've used it one time. It actually does smell good. It's more of a fruity scent. The, the bergamot does bring it down a little bit to be, um, let's see, to be a little bit more earthy or woodsy versus just fruit. So it kind of does have a little bit of a citrus scent to it, but it's very subtle. And I find that this particular one, well, very prominent vein. This is my vein hand whenever I have blood drawn. Um, it is a very subtle sheer scent, so it does not last very long at all. But it smells good. And finally, Lavender Santal. Let's take a look at this. My hands are so slimy, it's not opening. So I have barely used this because I don't like the scent of this one. It smells like your grandmother's very old soap. And I guess by you, I mean people whose grandmothers are like in their 80s or 90s, not you younger people. There's a very distinct... Um, yeah, it just is not, I don't like it. It's like kind of um, powdery. That's a scent, a word, I mean. Powdery, soapy, not in a good way. So, um, those are just the few little things I wanted to show you. Sometimes what happens for me is um, I have this urge to come and film and connect with you and if the conditions are right if I'm able to have the time and the the space um, then I get to sit and it flows my um, desire to create and connect flows out and in towards you in these moments and other times I have that desire and the conditions aren't right where I have I'm working or I, I'm too tired or something like that and that's always tricky and that's happened quite a bit in this recent year I'm so glad to be feeling like in a space where I can my creativity can flow and my care for you can flow through and transmute over this screen to you. Overall, I am doing much better than I was when we last, when I last did like a check-in, which I won't get into now, but um, feeling better, feeling more hopeful. We, there was a tentative trip to um, there is to travel to um, the UK and to Ireland this summer. Um, we aren't sure just as of recently if that's going to be possible. We're still trying to figure it out um, with a variety of things happening. I really want to. I miss it so bad. I miss Ireland the most. Um, and I, um, I don't know if I've said I'm now a dual citizen of Ireland, so I really want to go and celebrate and see my family there and show my son the family there. And, um, they, I'm sure I told you at some point they planted a special tree for him on the family farm and he's old enough now or he will be by then to understand and appreciate but not sure if we're gonna make it work this summer we'll have to see but I know a lot of you are from that area which I love or from the UK um, and have been so wonderful to have you part of this community and 
I know when I was traveling back to London quite a bit in the years past and I would shop and things like that, I got a lot of great advice from all of you about what to get and where to go and things like that. Um, so anyway, I could sit here all day and ramble to you about whatever, but it's probably so boring. Um, but I am glad to just be reconnecting and I can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye.